Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Angry Hippie Lady, and we are back here in Skyrim. I'm glad you're here. Uh, what's the significance of this place? This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. What kind of an edge? If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Tell me about the Nightingales. Yes. Mercer Frey and I were once members of what's known as the Nightingale Trinity. The Trinity disbanded 25 years ago when Mercer Frey betrayed us by slaying Gallus and dumping his body in the ruins of Snowvale Sanctum. Uh, were they a part of the Thieves' Guild? Indirectly. The Trinity is usually selected from the ranks of the Guild, although its existence is a closely guarded secret. What is their purpose? The Nightingales protect the Temple of Nocturnal, a place known as the Twilight Sepulchre. What happened to capturing Mercer alive? From the moment you were struck with my poisoned arrow at Snowvale Sanctum, my path changed its course. Perhaps I couldn't bring Mercer back alive, but together we were able to clear my name and to put Gallus's memory to rest. I'd always intended Mercer's fate to ultimately be decided by the Guild. And it seems they've spoken. Alright. This way, please. Yeah, just leave me. Bring you off. Why are you following me, man? Are we going in here? Always oh, gonna be so uh, level 36. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a way of proceeding within the guild on purpose. It helped divert attention from our true nature. What's wrong with you? I can almost hear you growl far away. I'm trying to understand why I'm here last. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Wow. Why pick me? Would you look at that? This isn't about religion, anymore. It's business. Am I supposed to still be talking to her? He's yeah. just ahead. Please, keep following. You're not. I'm not yes. following you. You're following me. She's stuck. We can begin the oath. Oh, she had to speak her piece. Okay. I. We good. Enough to make your head spin, eh? Activate the armor soon. Nango boots, armors, gloves, and hood added. Okay, equip the armor. It's gonna be light armor. Because every special armor that's given to you is always light armor. They don't want you to be a heavy... Well, it, it is the Thieves Guild. But anyway. You get light armor from the Dark Brotherhood too. It's like I I want maybe I want and Mercer's still out there. Maybe I want heavy armor. You appear ready for the oath. Yeah, I am. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? You appear ready for the oath. Yep, I am following you. We all look the same. One of us. One of us. You appear ready for the oath. Oh my god, woman, I am gonna stab you in your back. And you will like okay, it. Lass, we've got these get up, so now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a nightingale, that was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own. An arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brigiolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? 
Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Of course. Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the Western Circle. <gasps> the Western Circle? Where is that? I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. Yeah, I'm gonna trust her. You guys are so slow. We'll speak when the oath is complete. Oh my god, pull the thing. Good girl. Alright. Okay, good. It tells me where to go. Because I don't know where the west is. I am standing. You know, you want to come with me? We can be twinsies. I'm sorry. I'm weird. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna shut up. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Murk, and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Ah, Carlia. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? Come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath, to serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Carlyle. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlyle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Oh. Rawr. Alright. Let's talk. Talk to me, girl. Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Uh, he's a more? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. Okay, so the key unlocks any door. Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. Uh, the girl should possess this item. The three of us could keep it. Sounds like no one should possess it. Good. Then you understand why this is about more than just Mercer's lust for power. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the Guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence, and whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. First time I've ever set out to return something. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Uh, let's go. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Aye. Listen, lass. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Listen, lass. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Uh, why tell me, tell this to me? Carlia and I had a long <clears throat> discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts. Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, 
All that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. Mm -hmm. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. Me? What about you? Seriously, though, why not bring you off? I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best, but it's all I know. I've never been one to lead, never desired it, never cared for it, don't want it. Um, I don't know what to say. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. I accept. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. Uh, then let's get to it. I've been pouring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthal. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lass. This will be a fight to remember. Do you think we stand a chance to get Mercer? Okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alright, let's get out of here. And see what else we could do. As in... Uh, decent range. Um, of places that we've been so far. Or well, where we are. I don't know where it wants me to go. Because I haven't seen it on the map. But we'll see on the map in just a moment. Once again, I'm sorry for my strangeness. I'm a little bit different tonight because it is late. And when I record late at night, I get a little weird. Don't we all, though? Alright. Where we be and where we going. Kill the bandit. I don't care about no bandit leaders. No. Effigel. Remove it. I keep on forgetting that this is not Fallout and I do not drag the map around. I simply point and it goes. Alright, well let's go here. And we're going to go find that guy. Because we should have done that last episode, but we didn't. So, we're doing it now. I'm going to go this way. And then kind of safely, sort of kind of safely walk our way down. Um, and hopefully we can find a relatively safe path. Hey, look, there's a path right here. And I think there's only one quest out this way, so we're just going to run straight at it and smack it with our face. Ow! Oh well. I ain't even bothered. Alright, let's just kind of... It's faster to run, so we're just going to do this. Wish I had my horse, but I don't. Oh. That's weird. <laughs> that was weird glitchiness. I want to grab this, um... Whatever this is. That's like right here. Oh, is it that up there? Is it up there? Arr. Oh, let me, um... Before I get myself into any trouble. Let's do that. I think it's up there. Er, I want to go get it. Right here. But it's going to take me a while to walk around. This is why this is why I can't go to places on camera because it's like okay, there's a quest and look, there's a place I can go discover real quick. The struggle of every uh, Skyrim person ever. Thank you. Oh, did I discover? I just discovered this place. Get wrecked. I hear another. Just take these guys out real quick. Potion of strength. Give me that. And give me that. 
What is this? Potent Magicka Poison. Ebony Dagger. Bow Mill. Because I'm basically out of it. Not even kidding. Made a lot of potions a few episodes ago. Will you kill that guy, please? That's right. I ended it. I thought I was going to shoot Fandel, but I didn't. He didn't have anything important, so let's go on to the actual quest that we could have already been at, but we're not because I like to explore. Um, a friend of mine, Ziploc Bob, has been reminding me over and over about this test for gamers. Like, what kind of gamer are you? And, um,. We play this thing called Creativerse, I think it is, and he discovered that I am an adventurer. Um, and basically what that is, is that means that I like to explore, and um, that's that's my thing, you know, I, I explore. Orcish arrow, horker meat, nope, 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 oh, thank you. I guess I should get back, um my arrows, but also get some orcish arrows because of that guy over there. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, I'm an adventurer. That's what I do. I don't worry about achievements and stuff like that. Every once in a while, I'm like, I would like this achievement. It sounds interesting, or whatever. Or it seems easy, so I'll get it. And I don't care about the bestest, best, bestest, best armor and stuff like that. I just kind of play the game and enjoy it. I'm a casual gamer. I don't get super crazy about games. I get excited about playing games, but I don't get like, I, I, I gotta be the best. I wanna be the very best. Do I just like crawl in here? Be like, hey, so I'm here. I don't think this guy's crazy and I gotta kill anybody. I don't think. He might be crazy, but I don't think I need to kill anybody. <laughs> Hello? When the top level was built, huh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. What brings you to this remote place? Ah, the ice entombs the heart. The bane of Kagranak and Degofer. To harness it is to know the fundaments. The Dwemer lockbox hides it from me. The Elder Scroll gives insight deeper than the Deep Ones, though, to bring about the opening. You have an Elder Scroll? I have seen enough to know their fabric, the warp of air, the weft of time. But no, it is not in my possession. So where is the scroll? Here. Well, here as in this plane. Mondus, Tamriel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. Uh, don't make me hurt you, just no. Can you help me where the other scroll is or not? One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. Uh, what do you want? You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> where is this Black Reach? Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Oft hand, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. 
Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. How do I get Two it? Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find the Zark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. Okay. So this guy's crazy. Um, this guy's crazy. And I'm not going to steal anything from him. Because he might kill me. But we have gotten yet another step closer to fighting the Elder Scroll. And... Um, I'm gonna actually write this down because I'm about to end this recording session. It's only two episodes, but it is late at night, and I would like to get to sleep sometime tonight before uh, live stream tomorrow. Um, but I'm writing it down that off camera I'm gonna do some stuff. Um, I'm going to uh, first off do my normal farming stuff and. Um, I'm probably going to kill some of these leaders just to get the quest off or out of my journal because I hate having all these quests here and not doing them. I'm going to do like simple stuff like this and that, you know, just some miscellaneous things that you guys don't really need to see um, and have probably seen many, many times. I'm going to save like word of power stuff for you guys or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, but I'm going to do some stuff off camera. Um, Skyrim's a pretty old game. I'm not new to it. You guys probably aren't new to it. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I'm Angry Hippie Lady, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace out, guys.